people appreciate the guys who can find really good content. I'm subscribed to about four or five newsletters that are amazing. Um, so that's one. Blog every week, every week. Send an email out every week. Um, and about like, you know, one month in or two months in, start talking about what you're working on, right? Start showing behind the scenes, sharing the, the, the thing that you're working on. And like, uh, you know, but let's say halfway through, if you're starting with nothing, halfway through at three month mark, you can say, you can start to share that pre launch kind of offer saying, we're gonna launch. You can do it from month three to month five. And so at month five, you kind of stop pre sales. So you have two months of really just kind of getting feedback. And again, this whole time, you can get people in for free too if your product is ready. But in this case, let's assume your product isn't quite ready. Um, so yeah, month, you know, two months of kind of content promotion, I mean, and, and promoting the pre sales. At the same time, start sharing your journey on social media, right? Um, and uh, share behind the scenes, share like a mock up of what you're working on, share kind of like a mock up of the website, like, you know, like little things get people excited about this. You know, you, but in, in a six month period, you can build a lot of hype. Um, and then another really, really important thing is to actually start doing outreach to key influencers, people in the space. So now you've been blogging, you're active, right? You, I would say about two, three months into blogging, start reaching out to people who are influencers or people who are, um, have talked about similar tools and get them on board. Try to get them for free. Give them access for free if you have an early version or whatnot. Um, and get their feedback on the idea, get their feedback on, on, um, on the product itself. But really what you, what you really want to do by it this this effort is actually get them on board to promote you so essentially what you're doing when you reach out is you're actually building um promotion partners and these promotion partners are really really important because at launch launch is all about a burst of things right so you can launch on product hunt you can send an email to your email list hey we're finally live blah 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 you get all your promotional partners to kind of send emails or help you the more promotional partners you have the better and another thing you can do is start guest posting so you can guest post on those people maybe they're not promotional partners that you reached out to these influencers maybe they'll just let you write content on their blog because again you've been at least writing content on your site you've proved yourself as some sort of value add authority and so you can do that and and so here's an example for 100 days of growth we launched on product hunt that was huge we answered a lot of questions on Quora and all around growth hacking and things like that. That was really big for us. We launched to our email list um, and we also had promotional partners, but most people weren't willing to email their list about an ebook. That was just not something they were excited about. We got four or five people who were willing to. That didn't do that much for us, but what ended up really working well is all the people I reached out to, I, I asked them if I could write on their site. And so I was appealing to their audience. 